Flyers lose it 5-4 to four in overtime against the Dallas Stars. Welcome into Post Game Live, presented by Curado Insurance. Ashlyn Sullivan, Scott Hartnell, back here in Philadelphia. And despite the score, Scott, what a hard-fought game against the Flyers. That third period was excellent, and this was a, an opponent that there were some worries for the Flyers, and they didn't act like it. Yeah, it was, it was a crazy game, right? The yeah. Dallas Stars are supposed to be this powerhouse and, and uh, just kind of take it to the Flyers. We spotted them two goals. They were up 2-0 two, two to nothing in the first period. We come back. It's 2-2 two, two after the first. 3-2 after two periods of play. Then it's 4-2, down two goals. And then two shorthanded goals in the third period. <laughs> a big fight by Nick Sealer after uh, TK, one of the best players on the Flyers, uh, gets uh, hit in the head there kind of by Hawk and Pog, goes after him uh, and, and just kind of changed the momentum of that third period able to tie it up and uh, uh, points a point in this point of the season they they count just as much as they do now than they do at the end of the year so it, it's a huge huge point for the Flyers. It was a hard fought point for the Flyers that is for sure now let's go to that overtime game winner for the Stars and Sam Harrison kept them in this game and he did as much as he could and there was a reason Pavelski is as good as he is. Yeah and, and just a uh, I don't know if he out-muscled Kachuri there on, on the face-off, but it was, they were kind of had their sticks tied up each other. He couldn't get that stick to go out and get that puck. And, and Wyatt Johnston, a young kid here, come in and just making a nice pass there. Uh, the Flyers iced the puck right before that, so I think they were a little bit tired. And Arison, how many good saves did he have coming down the stretch there as well? To, uh, this one just kind of, you got to give, got to tip your cap sometimes uh, uh, when needed, uh, when somebody makes a play like that. Nice little sauce pass right there. Pavelski backhand. Uh, in between the arm and the, and the body there, but just a, a, a hard-fought point for the Flyers. They can't be disappointed in that uh, to fight back, claw back in that game and, and get a point. That's huge. No, and it's promising, especially for someone like Sam Harrison. We haven't seen him in 19 days, and we were wondering, you know, how is he going to play? Started rusty, and for him to come back and I thought his best save was in overtime when it mattered most, that yeah, first goal. It, it's, it, it, what can you say? A guy that hasn't played that much, you try and stay game ready in practices and uh, you're getting all the point shots uh, You know, after practice, you're staying on to, uh, to get some extra work. He looks solid. A couple of goals kind of be, uh, beat him far side just over the pad, the blocker side. And uh, you know, I'm sure you'd like to have maybe one of those back, but those are good shots for, for a scorer to uh, shoot it right there all the time uh, to get some goals. It, it's good on them, but uh, I, I have no problems with this game tonight as well. All right, let's now look at the Flyers' offensive attack, and that is our logger up presented by Yingling and the Flyers. Three shorthanded goals. Get this. The last time the Flyers did this was 1996. I was <laughs> one year old when this happened, and my gosh, this is now that's like their specialty of the year all of a sudden. It, it, it's absolutely ridiculous, right? And TK had a couple of them here. Great play there by Noah Cates, and he's off to the race. His breakaway 1v1. Low, low glove. What a great shot there by TK. No one's catching him. He's got the wheels. And that's why Tortorella put him on the penalty kill last season is because of this. He can get these chances, get the separation. And here, here's another beauty. Sanheim there working. TK works himself up behind the net, finds himself an empty spot. And this one's right under the uh, under the bar, Ashlyn. Travis Konechny, he's always so amped up. And what a night for him. This is a guy that just keeps getting better. Yeah, it's a great play by Sanheim sticking with it. Even though you're shorthanded, a lot of the D-men would just kind of circle back and get back in the defensive position. Doesn't do that. And then here's the third one, Sean Walker, the sneaky defenseman. Nice shot there, low blocker. That was kind of the theme of the goals tonight, the low blocker. So uh, Sean Walker, look how fired he is, he is, right? Gets traded here this summer, uh, you know, fighting through camp, uh, you know, trying to win a spot. He does. He's got uh, goals in back-to-back -back games. So uh, I'm really impressed the way Sean Walker's played so far. Right. Even when you go back to Flyers last season, it was the short-handed and this penalty kill that, that you were so confident about. And now it's carried over to the season, and you have to wonder, why? Why are they so good at well, this? Well, uh, in the third period there, I'm like, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, hopefully they take a penalty. We can get a goal, right? I said that, and I'm like, <laughs> I was wrong. They got two goals there at the end of the third. So it, it just a, a special group of guys. Uh, you had Couturier into the mix in the penalty kill, Cam Atkinson. They, they got a lot of guys that can beetle out there, get uh, get some chances. Uh, you, you don't want to cheat on a penalty kill, uh, but those guys are so smart with their sticks, uh, uh, getting them in passing, uh, passing lanes, knocking them down, and then going on the attack. It was definitely the specialty for the Flyers so far this season and they lose this one night to the Dallas Stars in overtime. We have so much more to talk about here on Post Game Live presented by Toronto Insurance. Have to talk about Joel Farabee. More about Sam Harrison. You're going to hear from your guys in the locker room. So stay with us. NBC Sports, Philadelphia. Flyers Post Game Live is presented by Cure Auto Insurance. See how much you can save at cure.com.